this video will introduce you to RabbitMQ, CloudAMQP, and developing with Node.js and the AMQP lib library. If you go to cloudamqp.com, you can get a free RabbitMQ server today. If you go to the plan and prices page, uh, you'll see the different options here. And the one we'll use today is Little Lemur, which is a free plan. When you try it out, you can sign up with a new email address here or use one that you already have. When you've signed in, you can create a new instance. Let's call it node test. The node test has been created and we can see the details of it. Here we'll see which server we'll connect to, our user, password, and this is our connection URL that we will use. I will copy the connection URL to my clipboard so we can paste it into the application later. In a terminal window, I will run npm install amqplib to install the library that we will use to connect to RabbitMQ. We will develop a simple application in Node.js using the interactive shell. First, we'll load the library that we'll use. And define our AMQP URL that we got from the control panel. Now we can connect to the RabbitMQ instance and create a channel over which the traffic will go. Channels are not as resource hungry as individual connections. We'll now create a queue. Let's call it Cloud AMQP. To this queue, we will send messages such as this, hello viewers. On this channel, we'll now make sure that we have the queue cloud AMQP and that it's not durable. If we don't, it will be created. Let's repeatedly send our message. We'll use the method send to queue, where the queue is cloud AMQP and the message is our message. We'll do that every two seconds. In another terminal window, we'll open another node session where we'll use the same library and the same connection URL. We'll reuse most of the code from the previous sender example, so I'll paste that in here. But this time, instead of publishing messages to the queue, we will consume them with the consume method and print out the messages to the screen. We can now see all the stored up messages and then new messages arriving. In the RabbitMQ management interface, we can see the uh, messages consumed here and we can see that we have a total of zero messages uh, that uh, lie dormant in our queues. If we click on queues we can see that the cloud AMQP queue here uh, is created and we can see our two connections.